What's up, y'all? It's your guy, Coach Buford, man. We back. I know some time has passed since the last video, but I want y'all to know I did get your messages. I got the emails uh, regarding uh, something that, that guys were just wanting more information on going into college football. Um, the next subject we're going to tackle, man, we're going to tackle the red shirt. The red shirt. What exactly is a red shirt? I'm headed into college what are the possibilities that I might get reassured in? <clears throat> what are the actual details of this status? Uh, that's what we're going to go over, man. Like I said, I know a lot of guys just don't know. Um, and like I said a hundred times before, man, I just wish somebody would have gave me the information. It, it just was a lot that I did not know. So uh, buckle up, man. We're going to jump right into it. We're going to tackle the red search subject right here. Here we go. Okay. What is a red shirt? What is a red shirt? I'm playing football and I keep hearing about this red shirt, red shirt. What is a red shirt? Guys, a red shirt is actually your status on the team, your active status on a team. Um, would I still be on scholarship if I get red shirted? <clears throat> yes. Yes, you can still be red shirted if you're on a scholarship. Can you play in the game? No. You cannot play in the game. In the event that you get into the game a certain amount of time, you cannot reassure. That is an active year for you. That is an active year. If you get in the game, that is an active year. You cannot reassure. You cannot reassure. Can you practice? 100%. Yes, you can practice 100%. If you reassured it, if the coach comes to you and they tell you that you are reassured it, you absolutely 100% can practice every day. Now, whether or not you do practice or whether or not you're on the same regimen as the rest of the team usually depends on the program. But with the pandemic taking place in you know, as of last year, I know some of the eligibility things may have changed, but originally you have six years to play four years. So if you have a red, if you're a red shirt at one year, that means you will not play that season. However, you still have your four full years of eligibility to play. Now, Will you advance in the classroom? Yes, your status in the classroom can advance. So that's where you hear the term red shirt freshman, red shirt sophomore. That just means that you red shirted one year or different reasons why you can get red shirted. Like I said, it's a certain amount of time that if you played that amount of time, you cannot red shirt. That is an active year. However, you can receive a medical red shirt. If you get injured, before you played a certain amount of time on the field, you can still receive a medical red shirt. So I think everybody's granted one medical red shirt. If you possibly, you know, God forbid, but if you possibly need it, you will. You can be granted one medical red shirt and a, another just regular red shirt. Like I said, they give you six years to play four years. Okay. Uh, reasons to reassure. There are multiple reasons to reassure. I'm going to cover a couple of the topics. Okay, we cover medical. We cover the medical reassure. But probably the biggest reason I've seen guys reassure, this is my experience, like I said, based on things I've been through, guys I know, programs that I've been a part of, the biggest reason for guys getting reassured when they come in it's usually they're not big enough, strong enough, or fast enough to compete at this level. That's whether you're going to uh, Division One, Division Two, junior college. It's a different level. And then once you come out of high school, you have to prepare, be more prepared to play the game. A lot of people in high school are just out there because their friends are out there. So you're not facing top tier competition all the time. So you kind of can just go out there sometime and be successful off of natural ability. Once you cross over into that college level, 
pretty much everybody you face in every week is hungry, trying to get to that next level of whatever sport or uh, field that they're on. So the competition level is much steeper. And a lot of times it comes down to who's working the hardest, who's hitting the weight room the hardest, who's training the hardest, who's doing the most agility because everybody has the talent. Everybody has the talent. But at this point is who's putting in the most work. As a college ball player, you're constantly being evaluated all day, every day. Your coaches see you. They're evaluating you. If they monitor you in the weight room and you're just not performing, if they're watching you in one-on-ones and you're just not performing or you're a step behind everybody, that is a big reason why a lot of guys get redshirted their first year. Not a lot, not everybody, but a lot of guys, it happens. Just not big enough, not fast enough, not strong enough. And ultimately, it comes down to them not working hard enough. Uh, probably the second most common reason that I've experienced that people get reassured uh, is usually just depth. Uh, a lot of times, you know, coaches are hopeful that they'll get certain players for certain positions. Uh, sometimes they end up with more more talent in one position than they, you know, anticipated. So uh, it's kind of a, a blend of seniority and um depth at a position if if they have two let's just say linebackers let's say if they have two senior linebackers and a junior linebacker that they're very very confident in that they love and they absolutely want to get on the field this year you coming in as a freshman sometimes they they just automatically have it made up in their mind that you know they want to roll with that three or four man rotation so they could say, hey, we want to say your year eligibility because we want, you know, it's going to be your show after a while, but we don't have much use for you this year. So sometimes depth and seniority, uh, in my experience, I've witnessed people be reassured just because of that, because of, you know, a team's depth at a certain position. Whatever you do, do not listen to people out in the street that don't know what they're talking about on this subject. A red shirt is definitely not a bad thing. It's saving a year of eligibility. It's giving you a year to step up and get ahead of your competition for the upcoming year. Do not ever take any of this as, oh, it's the end of your career. It's so bad that you didn't come in prepared. No, don't do that. Don't take it like that. It's not a bad thing. However, it is something that happens. Uh, the purpose and Next thing we're going to go over is the purpose of your red shirt. We're talking about you and your time, what you need to do. In the event that you get red shirted, you need to take that year serious. That is not a year off. I don't care how good you think you are. I don't care how good you think you are. That is not a year off. That's not a year off. I have watched guys take a red shirt year, do nothing come back that next year and get cut off of a team because they took it as a year off. It does not work like that. Life will pass you by. Don't do that. If you're reassured, take that time to get bigger, faster, stronger, become more familiar with the playbook. When you come back off that red shirt, you should be an absolute all-star. Junior college guys, some junior colleges handle red shirting differently. Some have an absolute schedule for you, a regimen for you to come work out every day. You have to be at practice. You have to do this. You have to do that. Some programs literally just red shirt you, tell you what you need to do, and tell you what they expect from you next year, and the rest is on you. Like I said, don't be that guy that goes and take a whole year off and think, oh, he's just going to come back sweet with it the next year. No, you will get cut. Like I said, especially if you're in junior college, you will get cut. Take that year off. Take that year. Don't don't take that year off. I mean, take that year seriously. Work hard. Get in that weight room. If it was me, I would go. I would, I would say, hey, coach, I need to be at practice. Can I come practice every day? That's me. That's what I would do. Like I said, this information that, you know, 
I wish I would have had before. Or I'm sure some other guys that, you know, kind of flushed their career down the drain due to a red shirt year. Uh, bigger schools usually do have someone assigned to you, like a coach, to make sure you're eating right, to make sure, you know, you're properly preparing for the upcoming year. But like I said, you do have some of those programs that kind of freelance you and give you the space to be a responsible college student. And they just tell you what you need to do. Hey, we want you to come back. We want you 250 pounds. We want you able to bench, you know, uh, 315 pounds. Uh, and you need to be, you know, you need to be in real good shape. Okay, so we're going to recap some of the things that we went over. Uh, what is a red shirt? A red shirt is your active status on a team, on a college team. Are you, Can you still be on scholarship and get red shirted? Yes. Can you play in the game? No. Can you still practice? Yes. Absolutely. 100%. Is this a bad thing? No. No, no, no. Some programs handle red shirting differently. Some leave the responsibility up to you to get in shape, to get bigger, faster, stronger. Some programs monitor you and make sure that you do the things that you're supposed to do. In the event that you're in one of those programs that kind of gives you the, the freedom to do what you want concerning uh, your eating habits and you're getting stronger and you're getting faster and staying in shape, you have to be responsible. Do not think you're going to come back after a year off and just outplay everybody. It doesn't work like that. <clears throat> so long story short, come in, prepare. If you do want to avoid uh, being redshirted. Uh, sometimes you're just not big enough, fast enough, and strong enough to compete at the next level when you first come in. That is a possibility. In the event that you get hurt early on in the season, you can be medically redshirted, which will save you a year of eligibility. And the last uh, point that I made was you might, sometimes you just fall into a situation where you get redshirted and you kind of can't avoid it. It's not a bad thing. Uh, keep me updated, guys. Keep sending messages and, and emails. Uh, comment on videos and subscribe, man. Just let me know what y'all want to know about. I'm going to give you a real-life, in-depth uh, definition of everything I can. Like I said, I wish somebody had given me the information, man. Uh, God is good. Y'all be blessed. Remember, anything that you need to know, get it to me. I'm going to make a video about it. I'm going to be consistent, y'all. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm back now. I'm back. Let's do it.